Today is Sunday, and I uh, got the whole day to myself. I got my check yesterday. It's funny, at my new job, they don't let me do direct deposit, but don't worry, I promise you by the end of this year or in summer of 2020, I'm going to get a new job that does direct deposit. See, when you get paychecks, they slow stuff down to the point where, like, let's say you got a cell phone bill paid, right? And let's say that um, you, your cell phone bill is due in two to three months. Well, well, not two to three months, my bad. Two to three days. And let's say that when you deposit your check, the time you deposit it, because it's a check, they only give you like maybe some 45, maybe 50% of your money. And then they could have a one to two day hold on it. And then, and then somewhere in that one to two day hold, you plan, you're paying for a late cell phone bill. So I like deposit. I don't like that paycheck to paycheck crap. Because it slows stuff down. Like, you could buy something, but who wants 50% of their money and the other, the other half they can't even touch? And then you go broke real fast because you're still waiting for that one to two day period to hurry up and clear so you can use your money for whatever it is. That's not what this YouTube video is about. This is how I start my video off. I'm going to wash clothes, and when I'm done washing clothes, i got to deposit my check because later in the week i gotta, I got to get a haircut. It's time for another haircut, uh, among other things. Now, this video right here is going to be Brazilian women have sex with black men. Now, I've done this YouTube video on my old YouTube channel, and it was well-received. Now, this video is for black men that are sexually frustrated and they want an answer to their problem when it comes to sex and dating. Now, most black men, because a lot of people tell you lies, so I'm going to tell you the truth. Most black men, when they're in high school and college, want a black woman. They don't really want white women. They really don't want Mexican women. They really don't want Asian women. And it's not that you don't like white women, Mexican women, or Asian women. Because we do. You want a black woman first. Think about it. Think about all the times you were in high school and college and you were always rejected. Because you weren't playing basketball or football or baseball in high school and college. Or you wasn't the gangbanger. You wasn't cripping. You wasn't blooding in the street. So you got overlooked. You got passed up. And you saw that you were at a disadvantage. And you kept trying for almost 10 to 15 years. You kept trying to approach black women. And black women said, sorry, you're not my type of guy. And you would always ask the girl 90% of the time, what is your type of guy? It could be a basketball player, a football player. Uh, it could be the personal trainer, the weightlifter, the bodybuilder. Most of the time, it's in the entertainment business. You know, it's you know, it's um, an R and B singer, a rock star. And I'm and I'm gonna make a YouTube video by the, before the end of this week on why women love celebrities. I'll probably entitle it "Sex and Dating: Self Improvement Versus the Chosen Ones" or something. You know, to try to fully explain the math and science behind that. Because I, I, I do strongly believe at 100% there is a math and science that will actually explain to all men why women keep fantasizing and they keep thinking celebrities is the answer to their situation over an average and below average man. It'll help the people on YouTube because a lot of average and below average men who have YouTube channels are still angry and frustrated and feel like their questions have never been answered. And you have pickup artists and dating coaches to blame for that. Now, not to get off the subject of this video. Black men try to date black women when they're in high school and college. 99.999%. And most of us don't care if the black woman is high class or middle class. Even if it gets really terrible and bad, and if she's low class, and she's from the hood, we still try to have a 100% prime objective to date black women. 
It don't matter if she if she light skin, brown skin, dark skin. We try to date the black woman. Um, and when you find yourself getting rejected for five years, ten, fifteen years, you be trying to wonder yourself. I'm trying to get a black woman because my parents and grandparents keep telling me, get a black woman, get a black woman. That's all you hear in the black community seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Get a black woman, get a black woman. And you keep trying to explain to your parents and your grandparents, they want somebody that plays basketball and football. And you may play basketball and football, but not at the not at the college level and not at the pro level if it ain't basketball and football then it's he game banging if it ain't game banging then it's uh he in the music industry or he in the entertainment industry he in television and film or in music so it's either sports television and film or music in one of those three environments and if you're not in one of those three environments not all i don't want the all police to come up here and prosecute me and shut down my YouTube channel. Because you know how the all police be when you say all. I didn't say all. But you have some black women that if you ain't doing one of those three categories, they don't find you physically sexually attractive. You know, you even go as far as to date uh, 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 um, black women who are older. And a lot of black men get angry and complain and say, the only time I ever can get a black woman is if she's in her late 30s, as in 35, 38, 40, 42, 45, and 48. And a lot of times you get a black woman that's 50. They always complain, I can only get black women when they're older and I don't find them physically, sexually attractive. And then it starts an argument. It starts a confrontation. I've actually seen it firsthand that someone will say, you ought to be happy and thankful that you got a black woman. And then most black men will say, well, I ain't trying to get no black woman that has kids or grandkids. And I ain't trying to get no black woman that, uh, that, uh, you, you know what I mean, that's older. And then if you try to uh, justify it and sound intelligent, then you're asking for a, a physical altercation. You're asking for a fight, basically. And then if you try to just pump and dump and just have sex with them, that's also just as bad. So a lot of men are trying to figure out what is the best way to approach without causing a physical altercation or being labeled and stereotyped. So you see how difficult that is. Lucky for you, I have the answer for that problem. There is another option. Now, most black men who get passports and go to Brazil date women from Brazil. Now, it will shock you and it will surprise you that there are actually black women in Brazil. Now, I know you've seen the movies and the television shows that they always show you Brazilian women look white or Latino, which that is part true. But there are some black women that are in Brazil that are very physically, sexually attractive. Big breasts, nice, firm, round ass, and fine as, and fine as hell. Now, they like black men that are bigger, stronger, faster, athletic. Um, they like black men very strong and masculine. They like a man. They don't like no little boy. They want a grown man. And more importantly, they want a man that is serious and not playing around. You know, they don't want no man that has two women, three women, four women, five women, six, seven, eight, nine, ten women. They don't want no man that's a player or a bad boy. They actually want a actual real man to take home to their parents and their grandparents so the father and the grandfather can approve if that's the right man or the wrong man. Because if the father or grandfather find out that she dating a bad boy or a player, he gets very angry and upset because you brought home a guy that just likes to have sex with multiple women. And he has no intentions of building or creating a family. Something that Ringo TV Raw always talk about on his channel. And he suspects people like me and you don't like to listen to him when he be telling that truth. I hear him. When I listen to him and I watch his channel, I watch all his videos. 
you know, he does what he does on his channel, which is great and fantastic. I always support Ringo TV Raw, even when some people think he's highly critical. But I still support the man. I'm just trying to explain to you what it is that you're supposed to be doing when you travel the world. Now, black men who go to this place say it's like heaven. You know, the women know how to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It ain't McDonald's, it ain't Burger King, it ain't Taco Bell, it ain't Carl's Jr. It's real breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the women are very respectful. And these are black women in Brazil, okay? And they give you back massages, neck massages, feet massages. And they are some freaks in the bedroom. Like, you talk about... You talk about the uh, the sex that gets described and depicted in television and film, that actually happens in Brazil. And when it's summertime, oh, you have so much to choose from, it's not even funny. You can get black women in Brazil that are tall, short, light-skinned, dark-skinned, and they all fine as hell. So you wouldn't even find you an unattractive black woman in Brazil. And if you say I want a black woman with no kids, you'll actually find that in Brazil. Now, they don't like to show pictures of it in the news media because it kills and it destroys the suspension of disbelief. That you can't find that nowhere else outside the United States. Which brings me to the next complaint. They will try to guilt trip you and shame you into not getting a passport and going to another country. And I'm not talking about the news and I'm not talking about the media. I'm talking about the black women that you try to date from high school and college, but they now have kids. And you don't find them physically sexually attractive when they get up there in their 30s, their 40s, and their 50s. They will try to guilt trip you by saying... It's bad to go to foreign countries. People get murdered. Now, let me make a lame disclaimer. People do come up missing. People do get kidnapped and taken away in foreign countries. The thing is, there are good parts of the country and then there are bad parts of every country. Just like when you go to another city. Like, if I leave here from Los Angeles and I go to New York City, there's good parts of New York City, there's bad parts of New York City. So, everywhere you go in the whole entire world, there's good places and there's bad places. There's good parts and there's bad parts to every country. Now, there are some countries you should stay away from. There are some countries you should go travel and visit and have fun for the traveling experience. And then there are some you need to stay away from. The ones you see on the news that are highly profile, yeah, those are the ones you may have to actually stay away from. And the ones that are not highly profile and they highly recommend that are fun and exciting to go to, those are the ones to go to. I'm just putting a lame disclaimer because I don't want no one to come to my channel and say, well, you said this, you said that nine months ago. Or you said this two years ago and uh, uh, you didn't tell me this was going to happen. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, explain it so that way it, it makes sense. Now, when you go to Brazil, it is like heaven. And the women will cook you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And... They do like men that are intelligent. Oh yeah, they love them some intelligent black men. They like a black man that likes his math, his science, his English, his history. They actually want you to know where you come from. Like they might ask you something about Africa or they might ask you some highly educational stuff and that's when you got to use your critical thinking skills. You know, you can't be going to Brazil talking about Lil Wayne and, and Tupac and Biggie Smalls. They be looking at you like... Not black men from America was educated, so you're going to have to really be educated. Now, I'm not saying they don't know who Tupac and Biggie is, because they do listen to hip-hop. They do listen to R&B. They do listen to rap music. They do listen to different varieties of music. And they do have dance contests. Like, they do dances out there. Like, all the nightclubs and all the parties, they're not inside, they're outside. They do dance parties. You dance... And you could be actually dancing with five women by accident because everybody's dancing up on everyone at complete total random. 
you know, they have parties in the daytime, they have parties at nighttime, and when you go there, they have beaches. Now, here in America, here in California, if you go to a beach and you try to do what you see in the movies and the TV shows, you're going to get this. Ooh, 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 ooh. LAPD, get your hands up. Put your hands behind your back. Get down. You go to Brazil and you might catch five, maybe eight, nine, ten people at the end of the night. You know, kissing and making love on the beach. Just use your imagination. I'm trying to keep this video as PG as possible for YouTube. Last thing you want is to be watching a, ver a very great, compelling, interesting video. And then you try to check it five hours later or 24 hours later or two days later. And you come back to my channel and the video get taken down. You be like, what happened, man? Where's the video? Oh, I went to his other channel. They took it down. So I'm trying to keep it as... PG as I possibly can. Now, you got some white women in Brazil. You have some Latin. You got more black and Latino women in Brazil that are mixed. Like, you might get what they call a mixed breed. You might get a, a Brazilian woman with a tab of black. You might get a Brazilian woman with a tab of Latino. And then you might get some completely uh, mixed race that you probably didn't even know exist. Like, you might be like, she black and Latino. Man, the best of both worlds. Or she Latino and white. Or she might be Latinian uh, and, 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 and Brazilian. You, you get some mix, right? They also have Puerto Ricans down there. So, yeah. So, you can get on a boat and go up the coast and go to the other side. And the same thing will happen. Now... You don't have to impress them by speaking multiple languages, but speaking two or three languages does actually help communicate. You learning something about their culture does help you. Learning how to dance, learning how to speak the language, the food, learning how to understand where they come from. And you don't have to take your wallet out and flash your money that I'm rich, I'm rich. You know, just be yourself. Where here, men complain they can't be themselves, there you can be yourself. And it's still technically a black woman, so it's not like you're actually... Well, you're dating outside your race, according to them. But when you get to Brazil, you'll be shocked that there's black women in Brazil. So, when you do date your black woman, it, in a way, it's kind of like a win-win. Your parents and grandparents get what you want. You get what you want. Everybody's happy. Accomplished. Done. I'm just trying to explain to you... That, yeah, Brazil's a very interesting place. Now, have I ever gone? No, I have not. But I have had three people tell me, man, when you get a job and you make a lot of money, you need to go to Brazil. And I got a job, and I'm going to save up money. Now, when I will go to Brazil, maybe in another three, maybe four years, we'll go to Brazil and travel. I have a list of places that I'm going to travel to, and I probably might make my video in the future called my travel video of places where I will travel. You know, Dominican Republic, you know, is just like Brazil. I'm just using Brazil because it's on my old channel, so I thought I would do it on my new channel. Now, you will also have a lot of fun in Brazil. I'm just trying to tell you. Now, they do experiment out there. Uh, I'm talking about as far as making love and having sex. You know, there is, you know, the experiment. You know, they're open to the idea. They're open to... All that other stuff. I'm just trying to make sure this video is interesting for you guys, because I want you guys to, I want you guys to have some fun in this video. So yeah, they do like black men. They do find black men physically, sexually attractive, very masculine, very intelligent. You gotta know your math, your science, your history, and you gotta speak some languages. You gotta know something about the culture. And when they try to get you to have some fun, just have fun. If you gotta dance, just dance. If you don't know how to dance, they'll teach you how to dance. You don't know how to speak the languages, they'll teach you how to speak the languages. And then, and there's a documentary that's on YouTube. I don't know if it's still up there, but they might have. You know how some people are. They can, you know, complain and YouTube got to take the video down. There's this one black guy that's a film director that I highly recommend you watch, and it's called "Frustrated Black Men in Brazil Part One, Part Two, and Part Three. And then he turned around, I think, two or three years ago and made Frustrated Black Men 
part four, part five. So it's like I think it's like five parts. It's it's one whole entire video, but it's broken down into five parts. And every time he tries to put it on YouTube, um, as you as you suspect, a lot of women don't like that video, and it gets taken off the internet like that. And then he has to put it up there, and then he has to turn around and make you go to his Patreon or his website to actually watch the documentary. He was trying to scream light it on television or on on a premium cable and all the networks kind of told him, I don't know, it's highly controversial and you offend American black women. So, yeah. So, you might want to watch that to have a better idea of if it's okay or not okay to go to Brazil. So, I just thought I would make this video because it's on my old YouTube channel. So, I thought... I might put it on my new channel. Alright, peace.